Hi folks, I'm Ruth Stanford. I thought I would give you a tour of my studio um, while we're all on lockdown so everybody can see where artists work. So this is my studio space. Um, I'm in Unit F. We're part of a light industrial complex. One of the first things I'll show you is over there under that cover, that's a piece of art. One of the main things sculptors have to deal with is where do you keep all your crap? So that's a piece of art that is uh, slowly being transformed into another piece of art. And I'll tell you about that in a sec. So come on inside. So here we are inside my studio space. The first and most important thing that you will want to see is Beto. He's the studio dog. He's happy to see you. This is a little dog area where Beto and his buddy Fiona hang out when we're working. Here we're looking into my studio from the front. Um, right over here, I've got a work table where I sometimes do some drawing and stuff. I don't do as much work over here as I could because there's a lot of dust that falls from the ceiling. And see that hole up there? I think something's living in there. Um, over in this corner, all those boxes are full of art history slides that came from the slide library at Georgia State. One of, those, one of these days, those are gonna become a piece. I have some ideas. Um, this is the light bar and the siren from that police car that's sitting outside. That piece is called Deliberation. And now that the car has the engine removed and all that, I'm going to take the, um, the car and have it crushed into a cube and then put the light bar back on top. And I might use the siren in that as well. Um, here are some leftovers from a piece I did partly at Georgia State, but also in Zambia last summer. These are screenshots from a video um, that was in a show called Foot Traffic. I filmed it um, in Livingston, Zambia. It's just a video of people's feet as they're going, going by on the street. These three columns I got six or eight months ago, and they're about to become a piece that is similar to the piece on my website called From the Ground Up, The Lighted Greenhouse. This is a model for that piece. So you can see the three columns at the bottom and this bar is gonna sit on top and it's gonna have colored patterns and be lit from the inside. So imagine that on top of these three things. This is one of those things I won't be able to fully assemble in my studio because the roof's not tall enough, but you know, that's where models come in. So over on this wall is um, storage space where I keep a lot of my tools and little doodads. Those boxes up there, those are full of work um, from that foot traffic series that you can see on my website. Over here in these cabinets, um, paint and hand tools. Most of these things are screws and washers, random things, clamps. Um, this is my main work table setup. I just made those two nice um, butcher block tables this week. The third table down on the end I've been using for over 15 years and it's, it's still good, but it was my only table, so I needed some more space. So I'm happy with how these turned out. So across from this part of the studio, going past the work tables is my white wall. And a white wall is a great thing to have in a studio. It's you can pin ideas up there. I, you can see I screw boards to it. Whatever I need for it to do um, to help me think through what I'm working on. I use it for projections, um, especially working on those colored um, pieces. It's, it's very helpful to have a white wall. Um, here you can see all the films, the colored films that I've been using lately a nice selection of those. They're really fun. They're adhesive on the back um, and they're translucent so the light comes through them. Behind there some shelves with uh, sculpture junk. <laughs> back here's the area where I keep most of my big tools. My drill press, table saw, a little portable um, belt and spindle sander with a flip top stand so there's a planer under there. When I need to use the planer that whole thing just flips over. I have a nice uh, machine table here, part of an old jointer from Georgia State. It's really nice to have a completely flat metal surface when you need it. A um, bunch of wood and stuff in the back. Over here, this is not an ideal setup, but it's fine for now. I have my uh, 
tabletop bandsaw, it's really sitting too high. A little wood lathe that I can pull out when I need it. And my chop saw, which is on a mobile base so it can go wherever I need it to go. And then we're back into the main part of the studio. So hopefully that's interesting to you guys. You've seen some things. This is where I work. I'm really very lucky to have the space to share. Um, and yeah, go to work. Go to your studio. See you later. Bye.